Hey guys, how are you doing today? So I've noticed that the DPS-6 Ford Focus and Fiesta transmissions are having more and more issues of the synchronizers grinding and failing. It seems like I'm hearing about that more and more often nowadays, and I want to address why I think that's happening and what you can do to prevent that. So I think the majority of people with these cars aren't servicing the transmissions. Maybe not you guys who watch these videos and are uh, staying on top of maintenance, but um, for the most part, I don't think people change the fluid in the transmissions. Then they start getting 100, 150,000 miles on them, and the transmission just has one magnet in it, and it gets covered in wear material. And I think the uh, ability of the magnet to pick up more and more of it starts uh, diminishing over time once it starts getting full of debris and then at that point you've got wear material and the fluid floating around getting in the synchronizers causing accelerated wear so I think you guys uh, I think we need to be changing the fluid more often like every 30,000 miles it takes 1.7 quarts it has a hex 8 millimeter drain plug and you can put a transmission funnel in the vent and just pour 1.7 to 1.8 quarts in it's easy to do and there's plenty of alternatives that you can use besides the factory fluid, which is getting pricey. If you've got 130,000, 150,000 or more on yours and it's never been changed, I would actually consider changing it a couple of times. The more often you change the fluid, the uh, less amount of debris there's going to be in the fluid circulating around all the time. So if you're in a cold climate or it's winter time and you get around and you, and you get in the mid to low 30s or colder uh, Fahrenheit or about zero or below zero Celsius, um, you'll probably want to go ahead and either stick with the factory fluid, the Motorcraft dual clutch transmission fluid, or also Amsoil has dual clutch transmission fluid. That'd be a good choice as well. If you're in a warmer climate or the winter time generally doesn't uh, dip down in the low 30s or colder that much, then uh, you can use AC Delco Friction Modified Synchro Mesh. That's a white bottle, not the black bottle. It's got a lot of friction modifiers in it, which is good for uh, wear and tear on synchronizers. But that would be something more ideal for uh, not as cold of climates because it's a synthetic blend, so it may not flow as well when it's cold. But uh, Royal Purple Syn uh, Synchro Max and uh, Redline MTL are good choices. They're full synthetic and, and it would be. I would use them in winter time, and, and uh, I get down to the 20s here Fahrenheit, which is below zero Celsius. I would feel fine about that. I've got videos on. Uh, well, I've got a video on how to service the transmission. If, and I'll link that below. And once again, I just wanted to make this video to address the rise in synchronizer failures and why I think it's happening and what you can do to prevent that. So start servicing your transmissions um, before it's too late. If you don't know what a synchronizer grind sounds like on one of these, I'll link my short video for that. I have a short where uh, my focus right here was grinding at one point. So I'll go ahead and uh, link that. If you've got any questions, let me know below. I'll answer pretty quickly. And I do have a Facebook and Discord group where I can answer real time there. On Discord mainly there. Uh, but yeah, I hope this video helps you out. And uh, if you're wondering what I did to my finger, I, uh, I was air hammering something and the uh, driver I was using with the air hammer kind of fell off of my work area and I ended up air hammering my uh, finger against a sharp corner on a transmission case. So that was a fun few hours in the ER yesterday. Uh, no broken bones or anything. I should be alright, but uh, a few days off of work here. Anyway, happy driving, happy maintenance. I uh, hope uh, your synchronizers don't start grinding on you. Um, and, it, and if they do grind a little bit, you can use the friction modified synchro mesh or add, um, add friction modifier to your any other fluid you'd rather use. Like if it, just real quick here, if it's you have a really cold climate and you want to use the dual clutch transmission fluid, you can put, I believe it's XL3 Motorcraft uh, friction modifier additive that can help with uh, some wear and tear that's already on the synchronizer. It's causing a grind. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's helpful once again here. And, uh, have a great day.